our face to yours. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. It carries away all our life but our remembrance. For all go far away into the silent land, yet is it gracious. You told us of the future. You had planned, yet seemed it too fabulous to be understood. On the way of it we grieved, like the exodus of Israel, our onions and leeks, all the common things we had known and had become satisfied. Perhaps we shall never have full satisfaction of the Lord. You are too high, too deep. The trees bow down their heads, telling us that you are here, you are near, loving us with the breath of you. And does the wind of the Spirit simply pass and pass away? Nay, but the whole wide vessel of the universe but shows unto us the whole wide vessel of the universe with the revelation of your purpose and person. We are to become conscious of Messiah into the presence of Jesus, to speak and to listen, our face to yours. This consciousness becomes a peculiarly unifying and comprehensive character. All else churning round and about this focus is held in subordination and subservience to one reigning purpose, its dominance in our mental world in which it has found its proper place. Our inner life emerges together at your throne. We become sensitive to the idea of your absolute possession of us and interpenetration. Some spread doubt that Jesus ever himself, knew ever himself as Messiah. Jesus knows all. King and judge are merged to one concept of you, then also friend. Each time Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, we are hearing even in these late centuries the cry of absolute truth. None had idea of how the world would end until your coming. You stand at the close of the present world order and usher in the coming world. Which world is ours and the purpose of our creation and life? We have tried to read into the world history the complexities of family, of war, of prophecy and plague, of Sodom's cat catastrophe, of the cross and resurrection of Jesus, a composite of mystery. All we have known shall be defined as the supernatural revelation and divine interposition of God in the affairs of men. This decreed by the Father, who is God, effected by the Son, and the Spirit carries us into its life and its conclusion. Amen.